Okay. <coughs> and Zell, it's unusual for a mainstream Hollywood film to raise questions about theological matters, about you know why we're here, what's our purpose in life. Do you believe in a devil who takes such an active role in our day-to-day -day affairs? I believe in lesser manifestations of good. I believe that they, they can exist. I believe they do. I believe that we can give them power by the choices we make, by the way we think, uh, by our fear. Uh, I believe in good. You know, I believe. You know, every every society, every religion, every throughout time has another interpretation of that same thing: yin and yang, good and evil, or God and the devil. Uh, you know, the, the, you know. Some people say the devil is called the evil. You know, and God is one letter short of good, or good is one letter more than God. You know, so I think those those, those there seems to be a, they they have to coexist. You know, I think they're, uh, they somehow measure how you get through this world or what, what you do. What, what do you succumb to? Are you just of the flesh and of, of, of you know, that, that side, the darker side, doesn't seem to have, it's just not going to, no good's going to come from it, <laughs> you know, unless you, you use it to, to turn it around, you know. Is that what intrigued you about this movie, this script? Partly, yeah. I mean, I mean, this is fiction, but it does pose those questions. You know, why are we here? You know, I mean, he does ask that. What's the point of life? You know, and I, I like the fact that someone had asked me, well, did you do a lot of research into the devil? And you know, I said, no, because this character didn't, he doesn't know from that. That's why he can ask those questions. He's like, what's the point? You know, why are we here? What, you know, and John Goodman says, <laughs> we need to make lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said to do one thing, make lasagna. <laughs> what has been the most surprising thing for you about being famous? What was the thing when it suddenly became apparent it was going to be part of the package? You went, oh, I wasn't really ready for that. You, I guess it's happened so slowly that I was able to, do, to adjust as time went along. I mean, if I look back, I was famous at my college. You know, but I, I was just at school. As soon as I walked out the door, nobody knew me, you know. That was 20 years ago. So I was never an overnight success, quote unquote. And as it went in increments, I guess I was able to adjust to it in increments. I mean, I, I was doing uh, a soldier's play on off-Broadway, and we won a Pulitzer Prize, and we won all kinds of awards, but nobody knew us. But I had already done two or three, or at least one movie, a couple of television movies. But nobody really knew me from it. I mean, I remember being in the unemployment office after starring in a picture, you know, which was weird. Because they were like, well, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm in line B trying to get my 125 <laughs> bucks. Will you move up? You know, that's what I'm doing here. I'm in line B with you. Move up. You know, so, so you know, I'm not in line B now, but I still have my book. You know, I, my wife and I, we kept them. I said, I don't want to forget. I know the feeling. Thanks a lot. All right. <laughs> yeah, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Denzel. <laughs>